the accuser of the brethren. All uh, praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect. It's fighting a good fight of faith and true sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwak, which is to the women believers. Shalom to you. This is a very true statement by, you know, Whoopi. But we see behind the veil. All right. This is just another trying to paint a narrative, trying to come after Israelites. Because as you see, started with Ronald Dalton, Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, now Whoopi Goldberg. They started talking about this, you know, uh, our people, which is in the industry, in Hollywood, you know, in the, you know, uh, get paid by these people. So I'm pretty sure, you know, the Jays pull these people to the side, like, hey, I need you to do this. You know, they compromise, man. Even though they speak in truth, but they're just trying to paint a narrative to make us enemy number one. I ain't going to make this video long at all because it don't need to be long, you know. But as you see, Whoopi Goldberg claims she suffers more racism in America than the Jays did in Nazi Germany, which is true. It's a very true statement, but it's evil agenda behind it. So. And then remember, so this is December 26, right? Two weeks before this, this is what Biden did. Biden established a government task force to combat anti-Semitism. All right. So I'm going to read just the first paragraph. And it said, President Biden will establish a task force to coordinate government efforts to address anti-Semitism and other form of religious bigotry. See, they're trying to come after the Israelites because religious bigotry, what they would call it. And that's basically just a, um, a doctrine of racism or prejudice against a people or a person. That's what bigotry really means. So they're basically trying to, you know, come after us. That's what it's all about. We cannot be a part of the NWO. All right. That's an acronym. I don't want to say that word. But um, or the three B's. Or. The technocracy that they're trying to put with the Karagma. But um, the thing is that we can't we can't be in this thing. But good thing that the Lord said that they ain't going to win. But um, but yeah, so I haven't really seen the whoopee thing like all over the news like they did to Ronald Dalton, Kanye West and um, Kyrie Irving. You know, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out pretty soon. But I just came across this being a watchman, you know. Uh, looking up things and reading things and scrolling through things and that popped up but yeah like i said i'm gonna make this video long but hey man it's the evil agenda behind this and it's all good this mean that we closer and closer while world war three is brewing up the karagmas talked about more and more uh and now the accuser of the brethren matter of fact let me get that It said, and I heard a loud voice saying, in heaven, now has come salvation. That's what we're heading into. And strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of Hamashiach for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused him before our power day and night. And that's what he is doing. See, Ephesians 6 and 12 say, you know, our fight is not against flesh and blood, but against, you know, spiritual weakness and high places and principalities. You know, so the thing is the devil in this world that he uh that the lord gave him control of is nothing but evil devices a lot of wickedness you can get into and our people dive head first into it so he accuses us even though it's it's to no avail because he's the devil and ain't like the lord listening to him but if the lord did listen to him oh he have a case because two thirds is out here wilding and they are they have compassed the deeds of the wicked but back to this devil trying to paint a narrative all right. This is what he do. And I'm happy that it's happening because it's beautiful when you can see something that happens in the world and then you're able to tie it in with the scriptures. That's beautiful because you got like. So I watch a lot of stuff and you have people who have a lot of knowledge, but they don't have no wisdom or understanding because they don't point to the scriptures. So you could watch people and get a, and get a lot of knowledge. You can attain knowledge from people. But wisdom and understanding, that comes from the Lord. So, 
We see what you're trying to do, devil, and it's all good. I'm pretty sure this is going to hit the airwaves. I'd be shocked. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be shocked if it don't because it kind of be kind of blatant. You know, it would be kind of blatant because you did it with Ronald Dalton and Kanye and Kyrie. You know, so now it, you're probably going to try to scale back a little bit. You'd be like, yeah, but it's kind of forcing it. Let's scale back. It's going to be somebody else that pop up that's an Israelite that talks about the Jays. But it said, um, your tongue divides the mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. That's what they do. They was made to do this. They are the devil. And the word devil really means accuser, which I just read. And it means to slander falsely, accuse. All right. And by uh, slandering and falsely accusing, because remember, uh, people think that the devil means a deceiver. But you can equate that with that, too, because when you are falsely accusing somebody and slandering, you are deceiving because you get people to believe the slander. So you're deceiving. So when you come out here with your pseudoscience and basically with your deceitful precepts and try to say that the, the real Israelites are inferior and things like that. And you put us all on the news as some type of thugs and animals. When you really are the thug and the animal, then yeah, you get people uh, scared of us. You know what I'm saying? And look at us in a, in a certain light. Like a, um, a person told me that's not from this. um well, not, That's not from Babylon the Great. He said that he already had his perception of so-called black people from Hollywood movies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we cast in a bad light everywhere that we go. So he accuses day and night, like the scripture says. And of verse three, you love his evil more than good because he's the devil and lying rather to to speak righteousness. He can. He's the devil. He's the wicked. And it said, you love his all devouring words, oh, deceitful tongue. So this is what he's doing, but he's using our own people because we always had sellouts. The people who made covenant with death, that's why you're going to die with them. But I love it because all you're doing is forwarding prophecy and you're bringing forth Revelation 12 and 12. That he come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time. So you got to really ask yourself, since he is trying to push, you know, the anti-Semitism thing and then... Joe Biden signing a government task force to go against people who speak against the Jays, then yeah, yeah, that means that the time is short and he's about to come down with the great rap, Jacob Trouble. Jacob's trouble is around the corner. Call her law, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So just pray for faith, strength to endure, and we all good. And I'm going to end it on this. <clears throat> So it said, hide me from the secret council of the wicked. And this is a secret council because you got to understand that these people, you know, when they say that they G7 summits and uh, World Health Organization and World Economic Forums and all that, they talk about how can we get these Israelites off the street? We are the number one enemy. Jake as a whole is the number one enemy, but we even a more enemy than the regular Jakes. All right. So um, it said, who wet their tongue like a sword. And when you go into that word wet, it actually, um, when you look it up in the blue letter, can't remember the Hebrew word right now. I should have got this in the um, blue letter, but I'm tired. Say that, that's why I say this video is going to be kind of quick. Um, it's one o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, it means to press upon the mind by repetition. And as you see, this is what they're doing with their media, with this anti-Semitism thing. You know, they keep on pressing it, putting it out there, putting it out there to make people try to feel sad about these J's. All right. So they're doing that, cr trying to create an ideology and by social engineering, you know, this false hate. <laughs> All right. When it's really the opposite. But um, it said, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot? Their arrows, even bitter words, and this is what they're doing. They're using their own people because that's the way that they're going to get to us. And they already got a compilate. They got compilations on deck, so don't be surprised when you see these other Hebrew Israelite um, groups out here who carry guns to camp, put hands on people. They got compilations of all of that, and they're going to group us up and and 
in, in one category. And matter of fact, when you go into the word accuser in the blue letter in the Greek is categorio. So he put us in a category. And right now we are people. We are the biggest anti sims and we are the number one terrorist when we all know that Israelites don't have no control of being a terrorist. We are a terror to each other. He is a terror to the world. So this is, you know, matter of fact, let me go back to um uh yeah, so you know, it is what it is, and this is what they're doing. Pretty sure this is gonna pop up somewhere. So hopefully this video is edifying and shallow.